I probably should have waited until we introduced them. But, you know. You know what? It's all Does the same, it matter? Man. No, I, I just want chat only mode. <laughs> there we go. If you, guys, if you guys have ad block, you're missing those amazing ads that uh, Beowulf is struggling with right now. <laughs> oh, actually, there we go. Guys, this is. Nope, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, I have been screwed over by my own app, by my own Twitch app. You know yeah. what? So this I hear you so guys sad. like the stream, so we're going to show you the stream on the stream. Let's go. Exactly. It's going to be amazing, and you all will get to listen to that crappy AT&T ad. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the question. Do you have to... I don't know. I, I don't stream a lot. Do you have to enable ads for the to like? And if they're on, like, do you just not get any money if you don't have enough viewers? Like, how does that work? I don't know. I, uh, I'll say what I know after we do the introductions. Uh, in the in the bottom left, in the teal trunks, representing Horn Born Gosu, it is Hatsack. And then in the top right, in the orange, we'll call that orange. In the orange. Uh, we have the Protoss, Kenji Maru. Oh, I'm shaking my camera even though you can't see it. Isn't that great? <laughs> Love that name. So we this is the plat match, I believe, and we have Kenji Maru playing up from gold. Yeah. Or was it was it Hatsack that's playing up from gold? Kenji Maru is playing up from gold. Okay, I wasn't wrong. And uh, yeah, I haven't actually seen either of these players play before. So uh, it should be should be an interesting match. Yeah, um, I I think Kenji Maru is going to win just due to the fact the success we've seen with gold players play or with players playing up a week. Yeah, in the CTL, I mean, if you saw what happened with Elysian, she uh, she beat a plat player and then promptly oh, wow. dropped in, dropped an ELO because she, she counted one and zero in gold, one and zero in plat instead of you know two and zero in gold. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that um, it, she wasn't very happy. <laughs> The guy's gone. I played above my level. What is, is that why? your Elysian voice? What <laughs> was that? Was that your voice of, of oh, This is my Elysian voice. I, I don't even sound like her, right? But this is my Elysian voice. <laughs> Actually, this is my. I'm not a guy voice. Yeah, she, she probably is. is. Love you, Elysian. Yeah, that's a death wish, right there, man. Yes, TB Ham. Um, one. One instance makes the rule, right? <laughs> because it works for Lizzie and it works for everyone. Absolutely. And uh, I, I'm curious as to um, the year of Horn Gozu. Yeah, that'll be that'll. Uh, yeah. Now Horn Gozu is it like are these like endangered Gozus? Like, are they being harvested for their horns? Do we do I, they do we need a uh, contact the Wildlife Protection Fund? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting to see. I think they might also be making fun of me uh, calling Born Ghost by the wrong name when I first started that introduction. Hmm. Either way. What'd you uh, call them? Uh, it's in the chat. I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you, you were saying? Yeah, so it looks like Kenji Morrow uh, went for that Nexus first and now is, uh, has that Zealot to block off the wall. And it looks like he's just going into fairly standard play here, not adding on any uh, cheeky little gateways or anything like that just yet. Uh, Which is, of course, interesting. Though. Yeah, I think as be, uh, he goes for. He is heavily not favored to win this game, as you know he's gold and his opponent is flat. Generally, when that ha okay, well, you know what right. you said, you said no cheeky plays. Yeah, there, I mean, this is two things. This is adept resonating glaives. Or this is DTs. It off chance it's blink, but I really don't think it's blink. Um, yeah. Especially so, if we yeah, see a ahead. target go down. Mm -hmm. This is uh this is probably. You know what, TB Ham? I I don't even you know what. Okay. I normally, I would normally I would say that this is almost definitely resonating glaives uh, adept, but normally for that build you see two gateway before your cybernetic score. So that way you can immediately you start know what? pumping out two adepts at a time. <laughs> and we are all wrong. It is tr Actually, this is a strong build. I like this. Okay. It is Zealot. Totally forgot about Zealot Charge. So, is that... Yes! Okay, this is, this is the parting build. Or, okay. this is the uh, new parting... Well, this was the non-century parting build. He was like, you know what? I like Immortals. 
and I like all inning you. And sentries come out too late, so I'm going to just get a bunch of gates and get immortals and hit you with charge lit immortal, I think. And that is made even better because, you know, charge lits have been so incredibly buffed uh, since Legacy of the Void has come out. So I think we're going to start, we're going to see one, one or two immortals and we're just gonna, going to see a warp prism and we're going to see things happen. Yeah, and meanwhile on the Xerxes side of the map, it's uh, Roach Warren Evolution Chamber coming down, Layer finishing up here pretty quick. And in theory, he should, if he sees this coming, he may be able to prepare for it. But uh, oh. I'm not sure how many players will expect that charge. And I believe I just may be wrong. I, I, we, we may just not see Immortals. Uh, it may just be uh, War Prism. Yeah, Which be, would hit faster, yeah. Yeah, it would hit earlier and may catch uh, Hatstack even more off guard if he's not expecting that charge to begin with. That's a lot of gateways. Yeah, and so if we wanted, if this timing was going to be perfect, right? You know, they'd be on the other side of the map when the charge finishes, whatever. But this still isn't bad. And the thing is, though, Hatsack has scouted this. He has his he has his speed overlord right there. He's just like, hey guys, um, you might want to build units. I yes. see, I see gates. I see seven gates, and I see yeah, units going across the map. This but point, it may the be too late. Are in full, full panic mode. Like, get anything out, anything and everything. Kill the things. Kill the things. Do the things. Score the points. Um, it may be too late though. Yeah, Kenjimaro uh, definitely has yeah. a very limited window here. If these spines finish, then the aggression is pretty much over. Not, barring some okay, so little drops. Yes and play. no. Um, with the charge lit buff, a there's no kite time, right? So roaches are good against charge lit because they they kite. And it's hard for Zealots to go come attack. However, when they charge in and they do the bonus damage, that's not quite the same thing. So actually, I like this a lot. So we're going to have a drop in the main, and we're going to have an attack in the natural. Now, I would just yes. like to... Okay, there we go. And, ah, he needs to time this up better, though. Okay. Yeah, Hatsack doing a good job of uh, not pulling everything up there to deal with that drop. This is not good. I, I liked the idea of this, but the timing just wasn't there. Oh, no, yeah, no, the time is not there. Yeah, um, I think an interesting thing to note was that uh, Kenji Morrow did get supply blocked as he was planning on hitting with that attack. Yeah, I and, mean, look at this. He's got he's got 1,000 minerals banks. He just, I don't think he got enough gates for the build. Yeah, and, I, think, I think his production cycles were just off with what they needed to be. Uh, so I think I, we'll definitely look for him to optimize that in his future matches. Yeah. And now he I did mean, add on another robo. Yeah, we do have double immortal coming out, which is good. Immortals are necessary, but I mean, I fully expect. Well, <laughs> never, never mind. Hatsack has no gas. I mean, not to say that uh, that Kenji Maru does. You know, he's mining eighty gas a minute. He's, he's there. We go. Okay, he's saturating his gas now. Um, and you know, if he he should be able to hold this, hold these. I mean, these lings aren't going to get anything done, right? Yeah. Chargelets are good units, and immortals are also good units. Yeah, and charge lot Archon, and if he decides to add on charge lot Immortal, and if he decides to add on Archons, is a just disgustingly powerful army against Roach Ravager if you micro your army correctly. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if he decides to add on to that or if he's just going to max out on this. Don't worry, um, I play Zerg. I know exactly how disgusting Mass Ultra or Mass Mass Immortal is. <laughs> It is. I mean, imagine my hand is like at the sky right now. It is this disgusting. It's like, <laughs> hey, hey, you have lurkers, you have a spread, you're all this stuff, and it's like, you know, uh, death, death, just death, <laughs> death. And it looks like he is adding on a Twilight Archive, Templar Archives here, so we will most likely be seeing some Archon play. Hydras coming out as the retaliation for Hat Sack here. I mean, well I'm not. I, sw face. I swear, I'm not balance winning, <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's like Zerg. Well, I'm in no spot. Is everyone to consider Zerg the, the strongest race? I'm just slightly salty from my ladder session to, today. <laughs> now this attack though is not going to work. For, well, yeah, no. Charge in, charge in, go. Cry havoc, least the hounds of war. Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, these roaches are never going to, aren't going to be able to break four mortals with more on the way. Yeah, well, you know he'll, he'll try and do some damage, and he may be able to. 
He may be able to well, do some decent damage. Well, you have these good bile. But you, let's just look, look at this. Like, look at the army melt. No, the Templar! Templar, no! Okay. Oh, okay. Barely so, saves that one. The mortals I are mean, still fighting, but there's just so much Zerg here. I mean, yes, but still. I mean, just yeah, look how cost effective. are down now. Look how cost effectively this is trading. <laughs> this is disgusting. Wow. This is just disgusting. And with 26 more roaches on the way, uh, should only be a matter of time until the next push comes in to possibly deal the final blow. This is true, but more immortals, more immortals are coming out. He's like, "Hey guys, we're <laughs> friends." I mean, they, he needs something to buffer. Yeah, and he's, he needs more income, so he needs to still be producing workers. But I mean, he just gets a bunch of immortals, and it's like, "Hey guys." Okay, yeah. and he also needs to drop that archon, like drop that archon, just like he would drop the base. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. This more more everything pretty much will be the key for Kenji Mari to hold this. He has the tools that he needs. It's just a matter ah, of if he no, has enough. No attack! Don't ride, don't walk back and take those free shots with your shield. Anyway, ah, pick up the archon. Pick up the archon or drop the archon. Okay, so this is death. As strong as immortals are. Um, yeah, with an archon not fighting here. I, I honestly, I don't think it would make would have made a difference. <laughs> in how it does <laughs> fight. Fine, though, no. He's actually okay! I mean, it, it's... He's trading really well with these mortals and Archon. <laughs> what, nice pickup. He needs to drop him back down. Okay. Wow. The mortals okay, are a good I mean, unit. This, is how, this is how he wins this game. This yeah. is how he wins this game. Like, what? No! And now we see Hatsack going, Oh, you made immortals. I'll make Hydras then. I built, I I mean, built them before. Hydras still aren't that great against immortals, is the funny part. I mean, they're better than Roaches, yes. But it's like, hey! Yeah. Kenji Maru was like, I was at like a quarter of Hatsack supply, and he's like, you know what? I, I got this, guys. I got Immortals. We're gonna be fine. I mean, I don't think he can push in. Yeah, he can't push in because thing. like Hatsack just has a massive supply lead, and he had one leading into that fight that we didn't get time to talk about before uh, before it all went down. Thank you, Cyrex. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, so now. Kenjimaro is backing off with a Lurker Den on the way for Hatsack. Uh, Kenjimaro looks like he is going to go into some Disruptor play, most likely. Uh, and uh, I like getting the Storm. That Storm yeah. is much better than Hydras. Mm -hmm. um, and Cyrex, I ignored the 70 supply lead because Kenjimaro had Immortals. And Hatsack had Roaches. And one of these does better than the other. It is just a fact. <laughs> An unfortunate fact, but a fact nonetheless. Yeah, and lurkers, lurkers here. Depending on how many disruptor uh, Kenji Mono is able to get before Hatsack gets a setup with said lurkers, assuming he makes them before he pushes, uh, it will like eventually lurkers ju will just kill your entire army. Um, you, and get need the, you need those units. You need those units, Kenji. No, you're gonna lose the unit. No, look out! No, they're gonna oh, survive. Oh, so close. Ah, oh, survive. One Oh, barely. So, right now... <laughs> okay, this kills him. This kills Kenji. There are 51 Hydras. Yeah. There's Storm not a Disruptor. Disrupt. I mean, Storm is good, but Storm's not this good. Okay, we'll see some... Storm! We'll see some good Storms, maybe? So, we have Disruptor coming out. We have Disruptor. I say Disruptor because it's only one. <laughs> Storms? Storms? Good storms? Okay, those are really good storms. Okay, really good storms. Okay. <laughs> the question is if he, if he has enough is... behind those storms in order to back it up. I think, I think he does. Like, he went from... Okay, so he went from Max... Oh, this could be good. Okay. If he pushes while these lurkers are morphing, he has oh, a window go. to just go. crush this go. army. Okay, let's see. He needs to realize that this is happening, though. Oh, storms! Oh, he sacked There's the storms. storms! He sacked the storms! Lurkers are dying! Lurkers are dying, boys! Oh, they finished. Lurk, target the lurkers! Target the lurkers! Okay, oh, back up. No server. Oh. Okay. Okay. I would like to point your attention to the resources last tab, as Hatsag has lost 3k more resources. The problem is, is that Kenji's still on three, 50 workers. He doesn't have a fourth. And as cost efficiently as he is trading, he just doesn't. He's not. He's going to run out of money. Yeah, his main is about to mine out any second now. With only 45 minerals left, uh, he needs to secure a fourth base, and Hatsack's doing a very good job of keeping him from being comfortable to do that. Yeah, I mean, he, his his naturals almost mined out too. Like, it, 
250, like under under 500 minerals in the natural. And yeah. Hatsak's taking a fifth, so he's like, you know what? I don't I don't even care the fact that one Templar was able to kill 50, 50 Hydras. Um, you're not going to be able to push into me now, and you're going to be too scared to take a fourth, and eventually you will die. And as much as I, I am I am hardcore cheering for Kenji here just because you know he's our gold. I don't think I mean are there an, are there observers on the map? There are no observers on the map. <laughs> yeah. And there are there are eleven lurkers and no observers. They're gonna have a field day and especially with supply block. Well, you know, if he catches them out of, if he catches them out of position. It could be good. Supply block looming here for Kejimaro, and go, plus limited go, bank, he won't be able to Storms, warp in any Storms. reinforcements. Oh, Huge destructor oh, shots here. Those are really good, but not quite enough to finish him off. I mean... Run by in the third base right now. These these lings are getting pretty good trades here. These lings are like the presidential candidate of South Carolina. <laughs> well, actually, that's, that's these nuts, but you know. Frank Underwood? <laughs> Frank. Okay, so... Oh! Yeah, I Link's mean, he doesn't need those workers now. anyways, let's be real. Yeah. And me meanwhile, these links, they're, they're just going to be able to run to the third natural and just do what they want. I mean, it's not like they're... <laughs> it's not like it matters. There are, there are, there are 100 minerals left in the natural. <laughs> it's yeah. Not like, not like them killing workers matters at this point. I mean, this is great. I didn't need those anyways. I only need I only have enough for one, one satur saturation of one base. So it's okay, boys. So... He's going to need like the most godlike, godlike just No, no. Oh, this is Liv, okay. No! Maybe no. Templar, no survive. Oh, okay, that's even more. That's even more game. There are no. Yeah. Temp there are six Templar left. Okay, storms. We're gonna so see if he gets okay. similar destructor shots to oh! he got in that last fight, okay. this could end up turning. But the the lurkers are still alive. No, no detection I mean... on the map still. And <laughs> suddenly there's no army for. <laughs> I mean, this and is game, but he man, what's up here? GG. <laughs> GG, tasteless. GG, cult. Okay, so. Born Gosu evens it up.